I'm Joel Create. I've got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. Now, unless you're one of those people who has no soul, listening to your turn signal is just a regular part of everyday life. So I figured, why not replace the clicking sound with something a little more musical, like a cowbell? I've taken mine, and I've made it mechanically automated. I started out with a 12-volt car lock actuator that I bought off of Amazon. I knew I needed to attach it to the cowbell in such a way that it would strike it to produce sound, but I wasn't sure how. I took some scrap brackets and mounted them to the back of the cowbell, and ran a screw through them at the top to act as a pivot for a metal lever. I then mounted the lock actuator in such a way that when it received power, it would move the back of the lever up, causing the front of the lever to move down and strike the cowbell. When power is removed, a rubber band returns the lever to its starting position. I decided to mount the auto cowbell to my moped so that I could share it more easily with other motorists on the road. I ran a 12 volt power line from the battery into the front of the moped. I verified the positive wires that were connected to the two front turn signals using a multimeter. I then tested a relay by attaching its activation coil wires to the turn signal positive and battery negative wire. You can hear it switch on and off as the turn signal does. By running the 12 volt positive battery wire through the relay switch connection to the cowbell lock actuator, every time that the bulb gets sent 12 volts, it switches on the relay, allowing 12 volts to be passed to the auto cowbell, striking it every time that the turn signal bulb lights up. Once the tests were successful, I permanently soldered the connections for the two relays, one for each turn signal direction. If I had directly connected the lock actuator to the turn signals without the additional relays, it may have drawn too much current from the blinker circuit and fried it. I tucked all the wires neatly inside of the moped, mounted the assembly using some zip ties, and prepared to share my invention with the world. <laughs> Let's hear your uh, Christopher Walken. <laughs> So when you're I gotta get some other audio. So when do you play it? I just whenever the turn signal's on. <laughs> Boogie down. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, can you drop? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so my family likes it, but what about the general public? It's rigged up to my turn signals. For the most part, people seemed unaware, confused, or simply perplexed by what was passing by them. Except this guy, who was awesome. I like the cowbell. Oh yeah? We need more cowbell. We do need more cowbell. And now every time I change lanes, it, it tells people that there's a little more cowbell in the world. <laughs> I think we can all agree that it's only a matter of time until this device becomes standard equipment on every new motor vehicle because you can never have too much cowbell. I hope you enjoyed watching, consider subscribing, music is on the way, and I will see you next time.